So guys, over the past few weeks, there has been a tremendous amount of development happening behind the scenes and we are in for a shocking next few months as they are preparing to pump out a ton of new vehicles as well as some much needed improvements. As we all know, Tesla is working on the next generation vehicle, the more affordable Model Y and then the refresh Model S and X. But behind all of that, they are working on the core component of it all, and that is the massively improved batteries. Earlier this year, it was confirmed that Tesla has been collaborating with Catho and LG to develop the next generation of battery cells designed specifically for its upcoming models. Catho has been developing the improved LFP cells catered to the local markets as well as pushing for the markets outside of China. These new LFP cells offer greater energy density and higher power output, making them suitable for all trims from the base model all the way up to the performances. Catho has been developing new improved LFP cells catered to the local market as well as pushing for markets outside of China. These new LFP cells offer greater energy density and higher power outputs making them suitable for all trims ranging from the base model all the way up to the performances. Meanwhile, LG has made significant progress with the latest 2170 cells which are now entering production and being shipped to Tesla's Gigafactory to be included in the latest Model Ys. At the same time, they are also developing the next generation 4680 batteries which are comparable to Tesla's own cells currently produced at Giga Texas. Over the past two weeks at the Inter Battery 2025 event, LG showcased its lineup of 46 series batteries including the 4680s, 4695s and 46120s with at least five times the energy capacity and output of the existing 2170 cells, these new batteries are expected to be a game changer in the cylindrical battery market. LG has already begun producing the new batteries in Korea and is expected to start production at its Arizona factory in the US, while the Nanjing factory in China is expected to begin production in the coming months. With Tesla as its primary customers, LG will prioritize shipment of these new batteries to the Gigafactories, ensuring a steady supply for the upcoming vehicle productions. So obviously, this is fantastic news. For those of you that have been craving for a much longer range Tesla, you are not going to wait that much longer as these are expected to arrive sometime this year. Now on a relevant note, BYD has just announced their 1000 volt Super E platform this is going to charge a battery from 0 to 400 kilometers or approximately 251 miles in just 5 minutes. They've really managed to revolutionize the charging speeds now capable of putting in 2 kilometers in just 1 second. That means if you compound it, you can essentially charge this entire car in 10 minutes and under from 0 to 100%. So seeing this is the biggest motivation boost for Tesla and hopefully in the next couple of months we are going to be seeing charging speeds much faster and range much longer in the upcoming affordable Model Ys as well as their next generation vehicles. Now speaking of which, if you're preparing to take delivery of your brand new Model Y, now is the perfect time to get your hands on some early accessories and T-Parts has you covered with some new arrivals specifically made for the Juniper. With one of the highlights being their center console USB charging hub specifically crafted to match the original center console's color and finish, using an industrial grade molding process, it replicates the texture and appearance of your Juniper's interior integrating seamlessly as if it came directly from Tesla. Not only does it feature three separate USB-C charging ports with a max output of 60 watts, the retractable USB-C cable automatically pops out with the press of a button while also transforming itself to work with older iPhones through a fully integrated lightning adapter. In addition to this, the charging hub includes a special cross-device capability feature that leverages Apple's older lightning cables, giving it a second chance at life as the hub integrates a dedicated lightning port that converts itself into a USB-C cable. This accessory, as well as all of the other products on the Model Y page, has been tested and guaranteed to work on the new interior, so if you're planning to pick up a new Model Y Juniper in the following days, 
head on over to T Parts and use the discount code JOHNE10 at checkout. I will drop a link to the center console in the description below. But if you guys have any other questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at HeyJohnny. You guys can DM me over there or just drop a comment below and I'll try to answer any question I can. So anyways, enough of that. Let's get back to the video now and let's talk about the new Model Y that's supposedly coming with the much larger battery. Over the past few months, we have seen various sightings of camouflage prototype Model Ys, but unlike what we had seen in prior years, Tesla is now working on different variants of the same model. According to recent reports, Tesla has begun developing a new model to address the intensifying market competition with low-cost EVs. This has been confirmed by a Chinese media outlet 36KR, which states that Tesla is planning to produce a new Model Y-based vehicle at Giga Shanghai, and this vehicle is being described as the low-priced Model Y. According to Lars Moravi, Tesla's VP of Vehicle Engineering, addressing concerns about the upcoming affordable models, he specifically says that the most difficult part of doing this is not making the car worse, so he promises that it won't be a massive step down from the cars that they sell today. This has been further confirmed by reports to have referenced a specific manufacturing term for the new Model Y-based vehicles, the report states that it is developed through a Depop and people familiar with the matter revealed that Depop is a development idea within Tesla which is to achieve the rapid launch of a product by simplifying the configurations while keeping the main functions unchanged. The new model is aimed to be the lower price Model Y with no major changes to the battery, to the power, or to the chassis compared to the current model. In addition to this low cost model, there is now another variant in development this one is to aim at customers who prioritize the longest range possible. Looking back, during the closing remarks of a video on the Model Y, Top Gear reveals the possibility of a super range version, suggesting that it could feature a 95 kilowatt hour battery and delivering approximately 500 miles of range. Now, although the numbers may not be exact, there is no doubt that Tesla is preparing for the longest range models to arrive in the coming months as they are ramping up production of their second generation 4680 cells as well as partnering with LG and Cathal to do the very same. In the latest setting of the Model Y performance, we were able to see all the exterior upgrades and in some cases even a glimpse of the interior. Several exclusive performance features were visible including the 21 inch Uber turbine wheels, red brake calipers, new Pirelli P0E tires, and a new carbon fiber spoiler in the rear. However, shortly after we learned about the more affordable Model Ys being produced, dubbed the N41s, we began to see other non-performance models being tested on the roads, specifically in San Francisco Bay Area. This one here that has recently been spotted in the past couple days shows basic brake calipers, it had hand-cooked tires and Gemini wheels saved for the base and long-range trims, and just like we've seen prior with similar setups, there is a high likelihood that what's underneath is not the performance trim and rather in fact the Super Range model. This could potentially push the new Model Y to over 400 miles of range with further improvements and weight reduction, it might even reach 450 miles similar to that of the unreleased Model S Plaid Plus. So there we have it guys, competition is definitely heating up and now is the time for EV manufacturers to focus back on the core basics and that is to improve the range of the batteries and improve the charging speeds and make it on par with what internal combustion engines and hybrids are capable of. Now of course, there are some nuances to this. You don't want to sacrifice the ride and handling by bringing in some additional drawbacks such as carrying around extra weight. This is just gonna throw the entire vehicle off balance and this is where Tesla is really trying hard to increase the battery density or the energy density making the same package overall, but perform much better. The battery technology now versus one we've seen years back on Nissan Leafs are completely different. Now you're able to get a ton more range out of the same amount of cell, and BYD has just proven this with the 1000 volt and the charging speed that goes from zero to 400 kilometers, 251 miles in just five minutes. 
This is just truly insane. And hopefully this opens up a ton of possibilities. Hopefully Tesla is going to take some motivation out of this and improve their cars. We're going to be seeing some pretty impressive stuff on the battery front in the next couple of months. Tesla is really starting to roll out the next generation vehicles, the affordable model Ys, and hopefully these are going to be bringing some pretty crazy charging speeds and battery range overall compared to what we had seen in the past. Anyways, I will be continuing to keep a close eye on everything that comes out related to this. So I would love it if you guys stick around, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so, and follow me on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. You guys will see things over there you wouldn't see here, and you guys can DM me anytime and I will respond back to you as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John. Once again, peace out.